So I've lived in Israel for 12 years and in um, America, specifically in California, only for three and a half years. But I still could really tell there's a lot of cultural differences. Um, like I said before, I think people in uh, Israel are much more genuine and more themselves. And in America, I think people more uh, like to put on a mask or like hide their true selves. Usually, like even if you're like in a grocery store and you're talking to the ca uh, cashier um, and you say like, how are you? They're just gonna say, oh, okay, and that's it. And you're not gonna have a real conversation. But I feel here in Israel, if like the same situation would have happened, like you'd actually have a, like a conversation and carry it on because the people here actually are genuine and actually do want to talk to you. A cultural difference that I've felt and seen is that in America, um, people are more separated. Even though it may seem like people are closer, uh, emotionally people are less connected. And in Israel, even if you don't know a person, they're still connected to you. Because we're, it seems like we're a minority in the world, so we need to stick together. And everyone looks out for each other no matter what. I have lived in both Canada, the US, and Israel, and I've noticed a big cultural difference. While Canada and America are different themselves, they're much more closer in their culture than to Israel. I've noticed that in North America, people are more polite. They usually wouldn't actually say what they feel. They would just say, I'm feeling good, I'm okay, even if really they're not. Here, people are much more straight up and honest. And sometimes, like, to the outside eye can seem as rudeness, but in reality, it's more warmth. And it's like that feeling of family here, that everyone is family. You don't lie to your family about how you're feeling. You tell them all your anger. You take it out. And I think that it shows the closeness of the people. Thank you to everyone who donated. Um, we get most of our things through donations, like food, our washing done, the sukkah that we're sitting under right now was a donation. So I just want to say thank you very much.